Well, we're down here in Lamita, Texas, picking up some goat panels and things. We're making the turn, the last turn in the town, and there's a pig walking across the street. <laughs> he, he's coming down the sidewalk now. <laughs> it feels just like home in Oklahoma. <laughs> We're here in Lamita at Rivera Custom Gates and Feeders. And we've been down this way before and got gates, but I didn't see this many people. We're here, it's probably about nine o'clock. We left this morning at about 4.30 or so, 445. And as soon as we pulled in here, there's a vehicle over here with a trailer from Ohio. And then right here next to us is a vehicle with a trailer from Colorado. And then we're here from Oklahoma. So I'm guessing it's good stuff. <laughs> I know what the price is right. So check them out. Uh, their, their website is just what I said, Rivera Custom Gates and Feeders, I think is what it's called. But their phone number, I'll have Lisa take a shot of their sign. That way you'll have that. But it's pretty good stuff. So check them out. The infamous Red River separates Texas and Oklahoma. On our way home, it's been a long day. Now all we gotta do is get all the panels set up. So Blake's here to help me unload the panels. And right here's where we're gonna put them because we thought this might be a good spot. <laughs> Look at the goats. They're all down here. They love the spot. They say, oh, this is a great spot. <laughs> I'll be, it ought to be easy to pin, huh, Blake? Yep. What do you think, Blue? You like the spot? All right. We'll try it. So here's the issue we've run into. This eight foot panel, it doesn't have a double 
pipe right here like everything else does like that so I don't know why they do it like that but what that does is it gives you a way to hook something to it and go perpendicular to your line which is what we're supposed to be doing right here we're supposed to go from this with an eight foot gate over to that center thing with an eight foot gate and a ten foot panel and the same thing on the other side and then our alley will shoot up the middle so I'm gonna have to pull these eight foot panels because the one on the other side is the same way I'm gonna have to pull these eight foot panels and uh, weld that thing up weld another one on that end right there so if you happen to go down there to get some make sure they ought, they got both doubles on all the panels and the gates everything should have doubles
Okay, we've got it all set up. We're going to give you a brief kind of recap of the quote unquote plan on how we'll do it. We'll either bring them in from this direction and they like traveling this road. And so what we'll do is we will bring electric electric net fence kind of down this way over to this side of the pins to kind of funnel them funnel them towards this gate right here. And then we'll have another little piece of electric net fence that'll go over to that's actually sheep slash goat fence over there. And so they'll come in this gate right here if they come from that direction. If they come from the other direction, we can bring them in from the other direction the exact same way, except we'll use this gate right here. It'll open this way. And then they'll come from down the road and we'll put another piece of electric net fencing to kind of funnel them, you know, somewhere right down through here and funnel them down into the road and then in here. <clears throat> and then we'll have these pins open where they'll have plenty of room to come in, both here and then they can filter over into this big pin kind of in front of the sorting chute also. So they'll have these two pins. Hopefully that's going to be big enough. So anyway, once we get them in here, then we'll bring them into this pin that I'm in right now, which is going down the side of the alley, and it's coming down into a, uh, a lane that's going to funnel them over into the alley. So we'll go in right here. We'll come down this funnel right here into a smaller, a little bit smaller deal, and it's going to funnel them over into the loadout. And then I've got my ropes rigged up here to open the deals, open the guillotine gates. So one guy can stand back here and put them in there. They'll load this first 10-foot section. And we can work on them through this 10-foot section, or we can go ahead and raise the next gate with this rope and put them in the, the next section. So what we plan on doing... We're going to go ahead and tag everything in these sections right here. That's what these drop-down sections are for. And if you go get these, these are called the solid drop-down. And that, this little thing right here releases them. And then you just pull them down. And then you got a little bit shorter area to work. This is probably, you know, 30 inches or so. So it's still going to be hard on your back if you're tall. But uh, you can access the goats a lot easier. So it'll be easy to tag them right there. Then when we move them up here to the next section is the sort. And we'll simply sort them. We can sort. The way we have this set up, we can sort four ways. We can take them that direction. And we can have them go straight out into here, which is what we'll do with our kids. Or we can swing this, swing this gate right here and have them go that direction. And eventually we'll put another set of panels and a gate right through here. And so we'll have a pin over here and a pin over here, which we can do the same thing on this side by opening, by opening this gate and bringing them through the, the two-way sort, letting them out right here. They'll go into this pin over here. Or we can bring them straight into where we loaded them in the alley leading up to the small alley, the crowd alley. So by setting it up like this, we can sort four ways if we need to. On these, we're just going to sort two ways. We're going to sort all females out. And they'll probably, depending on, they'll probably go that way, right through there. All females out. And then all kids, billy kids, back in here. And we'll know the billies because we'll ear tag them in this alley. We'll ear tag in the right ear for the billies, I think, and the left ear for the... Uh, dolings and so we'll know by the time they get to this two-way sort so that'll help us get the get the females kind of out immediately not put them under so much stress and then we'll have to work the billies back through in order to band them so that's the plan this pin over here is another little pin that we can use when we put the kids over in there we'll use it to lead up into this larger crowd that leads into the uh, solid crowd alley
we'll see how it works you know pins are like everything else <laughs> it's a work in progress and they're definitely going to show us uh, what needs to happen I will say this that these pins they do fit together nice but you're gonna have stretches that are not very secure uh, as far as if they put a lot of pressure on them they could move them out and move them over and if a guy was putting them in permanent you might want to put some t-posts behind them or something like that to hold them if they start if they start tearing the panels up and the and the pins up here then we've probably put too much pressure on them so we'll see how that works but we're excited to try it uh, we're probably gonna set it up tomorrow or bring them in tomorrow and, and try it and uh, go from there <laughs>